But that one, that's the one I was, that's the one I wanted to show you when it comes to the face, the eyes. You know shit happened. Shit happened with that face. <laughs> um, so would I do this one? This one's a Probius. This is a Probius attack, right? Look, he comes in. Look, my Probius just left. My Probius actually just came to attack too. So uh, he's, I was like, damn. And then he pulls back, right? And he's like, what, what the hell was that? He's not sure what it was. And so I go back and do another Probius, right? And then I go back. So then he's going over here like, is it a cannon rush? Because he cannon rushes a lot. And so he's looking for the cannon rush. He's like, I know it's around here. So he's... Then I left some probe, but I kept half the probes I send out, right? So I'll show you right now. And then I tell him, are you cannon rushing? He sees the forge, so he's like, wait, I know the forge is there, so you're gonna do it. You're gonna do it. But how? Right? Here comes the, the IQ play. He's looking around. He's like, I'm gonna steal your guess. All right. <laughs> so, right here. All right. We got Probius right here. <clears throat> and we have a Zealot. Zealot's gonna try to get in through here. Probius is gonna go inside. But, I have a lot of probes in there. It's not just one. So, <laughs> this is funny. So, we go inside. Let's see. Close his, close his eye. And then boom, right there. So we poop a we poop a probe out, and the probe Probius keeps going. One probe stays back, puts a pylon right here. Z lot is blocked, can't get in. <laughs> right, that's like a devil move right there and Probius goes on his way uh, so let me go back show you that part again right there All right, <clears throat> so this one right here, let's see here, just to show you. All right, you see how the probes are starting to stack up? They're like, oh shoot, it's a probe attack. And he starts like stacking. So the way I did this build, <laughs> the way I created this build is that I look like I'm gonna probe brush, right? It looks like I'm probe, Probius rushing so then you get in a sense of like oh let me set up battle probe versus probe and let me clump up to or let me do a you know but this is a diversion so this is a diversion for one of these probes to go over here and make pylons and wall it off and do a cannon rush so this is actually a cannon rush but it's a diversion. It's for me to actually get over there, make a cannon rush, make a pylon wall while it's distracting him. So that's that's what's going on right now. See how this probe right here is going? While he's over here being distracted by these probes, this pylon, these pylons are setting up. And there you go. Yeah. You, you see how that works? Hey, what up, Leafy? You saw how that works? I went in, Probius rushed, saw the Zealot outside, took an opportunity, Pylon blocked the front, denied the, the Zealot from being in, part, in this picture right now, uh, came to the top, created a diversion with the Probius stack, looked like a Probius rush, went over, Took the pylon block. Now he's stuck on trying to get through a, a pylon wall, right? 
So that's what's going on right now. There goes his outlaw right there. He's still stuck outside. He can't get in. He's like, hey. What's going on? So I make my cannon right here. Now this is sad right here for him. This is sad. So right here, I put my pilot. Okay, so this is what you could do often. So I have a probe right here and I have a probe right here, right? Um, so what, what I'm doing is I'm holding position right here so that these probes cannot surface area this cannon. Uh, and it's gonna kill my probe, but it's gonna take a while because they're panicking and only one probe could kill one that one probe, only one space. So that, that was, uh, that's pretty much what we're doing right there. Because all we need is time, time for that cannon to just health look, get us up. Okay, so now he's like, okay, <laughs> this is where it hurts. There's a zealot right here. The zealot is ready to go inside and start attacking the cannon. Um, there's a probe right here, my probe, ready to go block this because the zealot, right? So I'm like, okay. These probes, he wanted to be a macro player, so macro players think about economy. I gotta go back to mine. I'm gonna, you know, I, yeah, I can send two probes, keep them there, or something like that, but I gotta keep mining. I gotta get ahead or something like that. They're always trying to get that lead or the, you know, all that stuff. So his his demise is not having probes right there. Well, even if it would have still been a little hard, but in in, in it's a, I go in and take advantage. So probe goes up and it blocked them. <laughs> That's right, blocked them from getting in. <laughs> He's like right about getting into the pylon and just no. Nope. That's the worst. That's the worst. You know that that could draw like nerves right there. It's like like right here. Look, put the cannon up. Hold the position. Hold position right there, create time, and then the other probe, <clears throat> he's going around, and blocked, <laughs> that's the hardest part right there, just the fact that I blocked it right when he was trying to get in there, is like just devastating, um, either way though, he wasn't going to be able to kill the, the, the cannon anyway, um, while it's this up, the Zealot, even if it starts attacking it, it, it cannot kill it at the end time. It'll be like almost dead, but it, it'll, it'll have enough to kill a Zealot. Uh, and the fact that I'll come in and pile on wall anyways, leaves a, the Zealot alone to the cannon. And then that's, then it's still a GG. So there's ways that I could have won this even if he went in there. But the fact that I come in and pile on block, cause I knew he really wanted to get in there was a mental thing. It's like, it's one of those things where I know he's going to get pissed off. I'm like, oh, let's do it. Let's do it. Not, not, you know, it's just, it's StarCraft. It's a game. You know, let's, let's take that edge, you know, let's take that, um, that, that win. It's sometimes those wins are better than the win at the end of the game. It's what you do in the game. You know, that makes the victory more worthwhile. Oh, okay, nice. Surrounds in the green. All right, let's look at my vision. So we're gonna see what happens. There's two places you can put the pylon at the front or at your mineral line. Sometimes I find the mineral line being very uh, beneficial for different th different reasons.
it's harder to scout the forge. You can make a cannon eventually there as well without making another repeated pylon. There's quite benefits of putting a pylon at the minerals. I'm gonna work on those more, but uh, I normally do it on the on the front line. <clears throat> so right here, we found an opportunity. If in case he canceled the gateway, we can wall it up. The Zealot gets thrown at you. They normally throw a Zealot at you, so you always have to make a cannon at home. It's pretty common. So, always expect one Zealot going to your base. Right now, we're trying to take out that pylon so we can deny that, that gateway. Alright, the Zealots are um, really good at pushing the, the rest of the game sometimes. Or they, they allow you to get more cannons in. We embrace the glory of battle. But yeah, I think he's dead. Not nice. GG. Did be good now? Okay. What? Broken string. Uh, refresh it. Should be good. Okay. All right, let's see what happens. Uh, okay, so this one right here, see how it goes. So I put a pylon at the low ground for Zerg. I never put it at... Um, at a high ground too low, then to get a low ground. Because of the Roach Ravagers, um, I tend to make sure that the um, that the that the gateway is done. So I make the gateway, 
right away just to transition because of the Roach Ravagers with PVZ. So you always see me get a Pylon Forge Gateway. Okay, the gas is actually for the um, denial of Hydras, like... In case you're worried about like the, the, the consequences of making cannons, uh, you have sometimes where the uh, the Zerg player is going to go, oh, okay, well, I need two gases now because I'm going to go Nidus Worm, and I'm going to go a lot of Roaches and Ravagers and Queens. I'm going to make a hatchery at the main base and then use two hatcheries. So they'll, they'll already have a counter to this in regards to what they think is the best counter. Uh, so by making sure you steal with the gas, it forces them to a more minimized way of attacking you. So less ravagers, more, you know, maybe a little bit less roaches, more lings, because they have no choice. So it, it becomes kind of like complicated. Attacking our base. And they're out of here. Yeah, the the wall. The wall is very good. It always if they only take one pylon out. And they come out with a bunch. They're already going to get denied out here with the cannons. So you, the moment you wall them out, it really hurts them. You can pretty much win games like that too. Just them reacting into fully con coming down the ramp. Good luck. Have fun. Here we go. This is a PvP. I think <laughs> I'm thinking it's a Zerg. Okay, no, no, it's a random player. Okay. So, oh shoot. <laughs> so with random players, um, usually I t I tend to feel like if it's a random player, I want to set up as a Zerg. Yeah, a PVZ is more different than a PVT PVP. With the PVP, I can kind of deal with having a pylon at the low ground and a forge with Terran as well. But with Zerg, having a pylon at the high ground, it's a lot harder to work with. So I always play a random, like if I'm playing versus Zerg, just in case. Now right here, I didn't see a Zerg hatchery, so most likely it's not a Zerg. I didn't see a probe scout. So I don't think it's a, a Protoss, so I think it's a Terran because there's no Probe Scout and there's no Hatchery. It could be a pool first, but we're going to find out right when I make these cannons. It's a Protoss. Okay, just didn't scout. He scouted late. Alright, so now we know. We know what's going to be up there. Now, um... Alright, whenever you get uh, walled up like this, you want to make three cannons. The three cannons are allowing you to kill so many gateways to get inside. Uh, if you make two cannons, it's not going to always be as effective. Sometimes they'll make a forge, and then they'll make a cannon, and you won't be able to get in. So there's, you got to get the three cannons. It does, it does way better in these situations. That could have been a gateway, but that was his fault. Your probes are under attack. Alright, so we clicked there to see what it was. I believe it was a robo. So a robo is a little different. A, ro a robo, you make gateways, you make cannons. And you get zealots. The zealots are there to buffer the immortals. So immortals are very um, strong, but not versus zealots. Versus zealots, it takes more shots, which means more time. And time you, is what you need. You need time for those cannons to take all the shots down. So zealots are there to actually buffer. Okay, so remember that. 
That's why you make a cannon cannon gateway so that you have the gateways for the buffer already for whatever it be stalkers, immortals, but for immortals, this is perfect. We if not, they'll take out the cannons and then the cannons are over. Okay, right here I'm transitioning to uh, Cybernetics Core, which is another reason why you need the gateway right away, so you know you can transition to Cyb. Uh, and that's so I can get Stalkers or so, just in case. Well, in this case it's a Robo, so for this one I want to get a Stargate. So I want to get a Stargate because the Stargate Void Raid counters Robo, and that would have been my next play here. All right, so PVZ, PVZ, I'm gonna make a pylon again at the low ground. Not the best chrono timing. <laughs> Alright, we're getting inside the base. There's a hatchery. Okay, everything looks normal. It's a hatch first. Let's go to his base up the top. One gas. There goes the pool. Usually I don't like to go down the ramp very quick because the overlord has like a certain vision at times and if you go down you'll remind him that you have a probe. Uh, so I kind of sometimes don't like to go down the ramp until it's ready to go. This time the overlord was around there. I'm like what are you doing? I walled myself in like whoop. Pylon walling. Whenever he goes down the ramp like that, you just pylon wall him out. Expect the links to go to your base. Make your cybernetic core finish off the wall in this case. And done deal. Roro, Raggy, what? What is that? Or PvP. So PvP, you usually look at the minimap when you get your probe halfway. You see how there's a dot, red dot going through? Uh, you always have your eye at the minimap when your probe gets halfway. So now there is a probe coming, so you look at the minimap again. Uh, right now, around this time when your probe is over to the 
about a quarter of the way, three quarters of the way up for the second probe. Now this, there's no second probe, so most likely not cannon rush, but was for a scout. So here comes uh, that. So that's a gateway. Notice how there's a wall now. We just forced that gateway is not going to get canceled. If it does, it's right back to square one. So we created a wall, or he didn't expect it, but we utilized his buildings for it. So now all we got to do is wall off this with the gateway or, or with the um, with the pylon or so. So in this case, I'm gonna make a gateway, and I'm gonna make a pylon that'll push me out and that'll wall. Actually, I don't have enough space for this one. So in this one, I'm just going to kill my weakest pylon if they pull away. Oof. That's where the return to cargo helps out. There's That second probe was coming. I knew I was going to lose it or have a chance to lose it, so I already sent the probe. Okay, so right here, the trick of this part is you need a Zealot. The Zealot's going to take a lot of punishment trying to chase the Stalker. And what that's going to do is going to allow time for the probe to make cannons. That's how this one works out. I built a Nexus so that I can warp in some more Zealots afterwards. There goes the Zealot. The sponging time. Now let's go try to go kill some probes with the other one. Now we're going to go attack the other stalker with that zealot. Keep keep making a move, make micro. All you're going to do is just waste time. Your other probe is here, so we're going to be able to stall more time, make some more cannons. Now we can warp in some zealots that we, we're going to make right now. gateway and you want to slide out with the cannon there there is ways to do it that's on another video what up grom down yeah Alright. 
Ah, probe. All right, so there's a scouting probe. So this is a cannon rush. So we identified, oh no, this is a gateway rush. He's doing a gateway. So this is a really bad, the way that they put their gateways right by the front on the wall is not a good thing because it allows us to make pylons right on the wall, right? So that's the worst thing that you could do is allow a Protons player to be able to do that. Now notice how I cancel my pylons, make the gateway, I'm already creating my tech tree. So the next thing is just my cybernetics core once the gateway comes up and then I can just kind of drive my way towards his base. Now you don't want to make too many gateways, I mean too many cannons. You just want enough to get to his base the other thing is you need to start working on your transition because the only thing that he's going to do, there's a few things that you could do in this situation when the probes don't attack you. They're just make another base like he's doing right now. Notice how I'm scouting around. I'm creating a scout to see where those that base is because you always, when you're doing these cannons, you expect he's going to take a base. So you, this Protoss player is going to take a base. So scouting around, looking at all the bases, that's the main thing. There's another probe on the other side of the map scouting as well, just making sure that there's no no nexus. So that's how you deal with this particular one. Um, whereas we see the nexus, we're making cannons now. See what happens. Oh, probe. There's a probe in the middle of the map. So, if there's a probe in the middle of the map, mo most likely it's a cannon rush. So, we're going to wait for another probe to appear right about now. Uh, nothing yet. Let's not take chances. We make a gateway to wall it up. That just in case. Oh, he's doing the same thing. He didn't wall up in time, though. This is a gateway play. Okay, with the gateway play, let's keep doing it. Pylon wall. Oh, now this one was a pylon to cannon the bottom. So I test out different ones. I actually have, this is uh, one that I've been testing out recently where I make a pylon at the, bot at the bottom. Like, like whatever gateway location they have positioned, I can make a pylon or two pylons just to wall it off. Make cannons already and start going up the ramp. Um, it's a very fast way to do it. Uh, it's more efficient the fact that you don't have to worry about um, You know them denying you but you do have to scout for a third I mean for a natural so he's gonna most likely have a hidden base or go for a stargate play in this kind of play That's why you see me with the probe. I'm already looking around bases I'm looking for bases because this play is a little slower, but it's more effective So I'm, I'm walling just to make sure he's not getting through kind of just protect my probe little probe tra tactics Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
Alright, here it's just too many cannons. All you have to do here is make cannons to kill the Nexus. That's pretty much as long as those cannons can reach the Nexus, the, the job is done. Now you just transition into getting stalkers, gases, and all that gas, cybernetic core stalkers. That's what you want to do next. Right right when you get enough cannons. Now you are looking for that base. There goes the base right there. We found it. We found it. And it's halfway through, so we still have enough time to make a pylon and some cannons. Now if it was almost up. You can't cannon rush them, right? But you could steal the gas. So that's the next position. You either, if you can't cannon rush and you find the base, you can steal the gas. And then as long as you have the gas, that means it's going to take longer for them to steal, to deny the, to get the, the, the gas pretty much. Now, in this situation, I have the time, but he's making cannons. So that's a big problem for me. So that's three cannons. I'm going to try to see if I can let him go uh, get up. Let's see. I think I'm forcing his hand to go up and then I'm going to cancel my cannons. Or do I get him up? Maybe I get him up. I'm not sure which one I do. Maybe I get him up. Yeah, I guess I have the time where I, I don't cancel it. But if he was first, I would cancel it right when he gets him up. That way I just force out um, a lot of income from him. So one or the other. That last one would have just finished off that one other one. And uh, now I get a Nexus at his base. Now usually I don't make a Nexus in his base because the gas is still alive and he can see my base. But in this case, I'm digging a base and he knows I have a base. So he's like, shoot. And I have all these cannons so he's not going to get in. Perfect place to expand. You get your cybernetic score over there because that's going to be your new main base because the other one's not as defended. Uh, you just lose a gateway and a forge and a nexus, but the minerals will be mined out, so it's like not worth saving. I'm checking with the probe, just in case there's a pylon. GG. Uh, and then I won't try to cheese you, the, yet that, that's still cheese. Like I can't not cheese, right? At this point, I can no longer not cheese. If I, if I, if I cheese, then I'm normal, right? But if I don't cheese, then I'm cheesing. How does that work? You know, if I'm macroing, oh shit, Florencio's cheesing. He's macroing. What a cheese, you know? I'm at the point where I can't not cheese. <laughs> That's interesting. Not yo cheese. <laughs> Not yo cheese. All right, so let's see. What do we do? What do we got here? <laughs> All right, we're starting with the forge. All right, I like to wait for about 250, 300, 300 minerals uh, so that I can have enough for a four pylon wall. So I'm li I wanna make sure I go in there and I can do the four pylon wall. Oh, he's giving it to me. Oh, so easy. Oh, this one's a three pylon wall, even better. All right, he's, gonna make ha he's gonna have to cancel that gateway and it's almost up. Let's see, Let's see if he does. This one I'm already scouting, you see that? Oh, he canceled the gateway. That little bastard. He said he reset himself a bit, but he does have that other gateway. And so this one, he's like, okay. So I gotta go up there. Already, I know before I go up there that it's gonna be a wall. I know he's gonna wall it up. That and I can see it with my pylon, so. <laughs> but they always wall you out if they see that you're cannon rushing and they, get, they just won't want you in. Like, no. Now in this case, I'm going for cannons. Three cannons is what I like to use. With three cannons, I can destroy that gateway. 
or those two gateways at a pretty good record time. Now, of course, I'm scouting everywhere. I don't want any other nexus popping up or anything around the base. We're going to focus fire on the gateway. Fo that focus fire, though. No. Oh, shit, one's screwing up. <laughs> one's shooting the other one. Who is it? Okay, there it goes. Alright, so... It gets harder right now, but the gateway is gone. So, uh, with the gateway, it gets a little easier to cannon rush because it's only um, stalker, and a stalker can't do enough damage to a cannon rush. So I'm just kind of like baiting some of the zealots out, baiting some of the probes. Now I'm going bobbing and weaving. Now with this particular one, you have the gateway. The gateway is made for two things: the transition. The follow up and for the for the attack. Now this one right here, the zealot is going to go harass the stalker. That's going to allow the cannons to be put, and then the 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 stalker is really trying to get the the probe. But that's what the zealot's for. He's just taking those shots. Now we got to take higher higher cannon locations because he was so aggressive. <clears throat> so now we have another probe. We already have another probe ex uh, coming over to the base because we already expected our probe to be chased out. This guy goes for the probes, you know what I mean? He goes for the probies. So. Our pylon is under attack. All right, <clears throat> so I'm making a zealot so that I can do more harass to the stalker so that more cannons can be placed. So there's two, oh, three, three cannon. Oh shoot, that's a lot. That's a lot. We'll see the stalkers and the zealots and the cannons. This is always fun. So I go with the zealots to go harass the probes while he's over there trying to kill the cannons. Because if not, he has to go back over here and I just run back. Usually, yeah, usually the, the Zella goes back and runs back while the cannons are being made and then the stalkers have to. It's a little dance that you kind of create. But if you just had all you're doing is making cannons, um, <laughs> eventually you can get into a, a very cannon heavy, you know, situation. The Zella bouncer. <laughs> a lot. Okay. You'll you'll be an expert at cannon rushing by the end of this. <laughs> All right. Final right, going up. Very nice. <laughs> Very moist plumber. I, I appreciate those kind of words. <laughs> you know. I just want you to know though. I'm selling that sewer wa water for ninety nine ninety nine. You let me know. Looks like you're just the just the right customer. Okay. All right, so this Protoss is very nervous. Now, this position right here is a little harder. You see how this is, the gateway is kind of out. Um, oh, oh, he's trying to body block. He's, he's pylon blocking. All right, diversion. We found another spot. 
And now we're gonna most likely have it. This is probably gonna get cancelled. Just that we know that this is probably gonna get cancelled. It's his second gateway. Of course he could afford that. So we're gonna go quickly block his home. Now he can't get in, it's just me and his probe. And then I just walled him out with my gateway. And then I'm walling this area so that the Zealot can't get through. You see how now I'm gonna force that Zealot out? <laughs> And uh, and then I can pop back in. I'm like, oh shoot, you know what? I need to get out. I need to get out of here. I need to go inside somewhere. I do the mineral trick, the pylon trick, get kicked out. Hey, there's a lot still trapped down there. <laughs> so we're gonna go back real quick real quick just want to show you something so whenever I go here uh, this there's there's Protoss players. Let me go into my uh, my little drawing board. So sometimes there's a a gateway is usually right here, right? They normally have a gateway right here, and you can wall right here. This is the area that you can wall up. It's a tank. all of you guys that wanted to know what that was it was a tank okay so sometimes they have this the gateways right here right and so you make the pylon wall right here and everything's groovy but other players their their gateways are right here in the middle right and so this makes it very hard to do a pylon wall because well the pylon wall you can't use this building and then you have to go four across here and then right here as well so that's not very practical so there's <clears throat> so the next thing is find another location right so the other one is this one where you pylon wall this area um you could do this one i have done this this one as well uh I, I just put it right here this is the next one right here is the one I, i've been recently doing um uh you just go in here you make that pylon you just build it even if you get the low ground right here and then you also get this part right here with the second probe with the second probe you get me so there's ways to, to deal with uh this this gateway location but uh, you just have to know your locations. The other one that I was going to do recently, um, I've been doing this. You go up the ramp, you pile on, pile on, pile on. You do a three pylon wall real quick, and you make your cannons right here. Your cannons will be able to destroy your gate. The gateway, you'll be able to get through. Your pylons are already up. You'll be able to cannon on the high ground. But this is a very safe way because they can't get through it. They can't deny you. This is like a really quick, even if your probe is right here, his probe is right here, they can't deny you. They would have to have a probe right here blocking. So there's 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 a few different ways that you can do it. Um, but for this one, we scope it out, right? We're scoping it out. We're like, we, we're not really showing our cards yet because I'm still kind of like, Mm, I would like to make the pylons right here, but there's still that pylon. So then we're like, oh, okay, there's a gateway right here. So we see a wall. There's already a wall right here. So we have an opportunity, right? A wall to just wall this area. But we're not going to take that right now. We're going to try to do this one. This is the next one, is to wall this one. Now, I was supposed to get this one, and he blocked it. 
So the one thing about Protoss players, when you, or, or even Terran players, all, all players actually, uh, there, there's a situation where they're like, this is the area, this is the hot spot. This is the hot spot right here. We need to make sure we're, our eyes are focused on this. They don't realize that you can create other locations. So as he's focused on this area, I cancel real quick. He's already far distant from my probe. And now I can wall up. And the more space I actually have, the bigger yard that I get to play with. And that's actually really big. You want to have a really big yard. The bigger the yard, the more pylon structure, gateway structures you can do and set your cannon back and they can't break through it the more they, they try. <clears throat> so right here we have a, a zealot, right? This zealot is going to come through here. He's going to want to get inside this, this area. <coughs> this gateway is his, his as well. We expect his gateway to be um, here and canceled. The reason why they cancel is because they can get in now. So that's already expected. I just, you know, just wait for the opportunity. That's why my probe is right, right there. So in this case, we wall this area, and then we quickly get a gateway to wall this probe out. So every time a probe zaps you, he's gonna create distance. That distance is the, the distance you need sometimes to get like buildings and block them. There we go, make a gateway, wall them out. Now we still have another situation. We have a zealot. The zealot's coming out, it's almost out. And in order for us to get them not inside here because we're gonna make a cannon. This is a pylon, mind you. There's no cannons in here right now is to wall this right here with the probe because you can't put a pylon or anything in there but you could put a probe and that probe is going to be like uh like the x it has a little x on it means that you can't you can't put pop out that way see how he changed his direction that that arrow is going straight inside he's like i want to get inside there that's where i want to go well that arrow you can't get in there when there's a wall of an x right here and that's a probe so the, the zealot comes out. So yeah. So now I'm trying to figure out how to get out. Right. This is my Houdini moments where I'm like, okay, what do I need to build and craft to? <laughs> what do I need to craft to get out of here with my probe? Right. Because your probe is everything. It's like they're thinking, oh, you know what? He can't get in. He's locked up. He can only do here. That'll give me time to get stalkers, battery shields, and all that stuff. I can get my stalker out and then kill this off. Well, that, you know, because obviously, it's like, what, are you going to get this probe to kill this pylon out? It's going to take forever. It's going to take forever to try to chew up that, 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 that pylon. So here I'm looking at her like, okay, well, if I cancel the gateway, it's like, okay, here goes one. Go to the pop. Like, pop right out. Now, if it didn't work the first time, it would be a gateway. So I'd have to make a gateway right here, or I would have to make a pylon right here, and then the gateway, I mean, and then the pylon. Yeah, there's like different things that you have to do if, it, if that one doesn't pop you out. So, or I would pretty much make the cannon right here, cancel this cannon, pop the gateway, and you'll pop out of here. You could pop out of here by canceling canceling this cannon right here. You'll have time because this is a gateway. So, or you can make the yeah, you make a cannon right here, and make the gateway right here pop out. So, there's ways to do it. Um, you have to figure out which way you want to do it. But those little ideas help you with games like this. Cause he's like, oh shoot, now he's inside the base. He's like, he's in my base. What do I do? What do I do? And notice how I'm just walling him out. See how he's like, I want to go out. I want to go here. I got my stalker. I just need my stalker. I need to take my stalker inside. Well, I already know this, so I'm going to make a gateway right here. That just created a wall. He canceled his gateway. He, ca he canceled his stalker because he knew that it was useless now. He's like, you just closed me off. You closed me off, so no longer can I use that. So what do I... So he lost. 
He doesn't know what to do? He said no. I don't know. Here we go. Oh, almost left without you guys. Oh, thanks, Freaky Koala. I put in my time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Billie Eilish. Exactly. Duh. <laughs> the ASMR. I know this is a Cannon Rush ASMR. You know that, right? Pretty much. How can something so nice and smooth be so harsh visually? My ears are enjoying it, but my eyes are... <laughs> Terrified. Oh man. Here we go. So we're gonna put, um. Alright, we're waiting for a little bit of resources, right? 300 resources. Oh, the gateway. Oh, the easy play. Come on now. Oh, look at that. Oh, we look at that. Three pylon wall. They're pretty much handing us the build. Oh, look at them. They're coming to us. We have distance. Alright. Put a pylon down. The cannon's up. Where's the Zelot gonna come out? Like, no, oh, there's a lot stuck in the bottom. Outside, yep. <laughs> well, kind of. You got stuck in between. That's even worse. It's like the worst thing is to get. Oh, the Zealot. The probe got the, the kill. And by the way, I'm making a gateway right now because I didn't make one. Weak cheeser. That's a miss scout. That's held 9 out of 10 times. I need to laugh. No GG. No GG. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, he's like, that's a scout. Like, the thing is. How do you scout this? That's the problem. Like, I come inside, right? Like, he's... He's scouting left and right. I mean, he's looking for the cannon rush, right? The only problem is, like, you can't stop this. The only way you can stop it if your probe's right here, and that's even, you know, thinking that I'm going to do that. And if your probe's right here, then I'm going to go over here and create a different location, right? Or because your probe is right here, I'm just gonna pylon, pylon. I'll have this bottom to myself. Pylon, pylon, and a pylon down here. The second probe that I have coming over here is gonna come and, and help me with this probe, bully this probe right here. This probe is gonna wanna make a nexus somewhere in the map. My second probe is gonna follow him. My cannons are gonna continue. So there's ways to do this, even if he had a probe right here or if he was probed right here uh, because of the way that the physics of the, of the game so right here it's it's f so easier giving it to me right here like, now you can't do anything there's anything there's nothing you can do right here uh, you, you, and he pulled all his workers or most of his workers mostly all his workers he was trying to be a somewhat efficient to whatever the space requirement but I mean, he really went at it 
hundred percent, hundred and ten percent when he did this. He went straight for everything. Now he did kind of choke up right here. You should just kind of move up to the right click, right click. I think he's doing that right now, I'm trying to right click. But he's a right clicking, so he's yeah, he's trying to get that maximum surface area. So he's doing good about there. Now here we go. We have we have a cannon right here that we want. We have a pylon right here because we're gonna create. A, uh, a wall pretty much let's see so we're gonna create a wall so nothing can come this way because of this right here this cannon I'm not gonna finish that we're not gonna finish that one right there <laughs> and uh, so that's gonna force the, the Zalot to come out of here here or here you know it's it's like you can't can't get in here so that's yeah another pylon right here can't get in this cannon is really con contained in the bottom there's nothing you could do Really, in this situation, if you if you let them in, if you let that pylon, those pylons go up, and as a Protoss player, if you know how to do all this stuff in routine, I mean, it's a done deal, most likely. The only thing you have to do now is scout for the bases, scout for a hidden base. That's a miss. Yeah. Oh, he was salty. What is that? <laughs> Get him in his short and curlies. I know where the curlies are. That's a that's a hurting place. That one. Okay, we're playing versus Zerg. So with versus Zerg, we get the pylon at the low ground, the gateway, and the forge. The forge gateway, either way, you could do it either way. Location doesn't really matter. They're about the same time. The gateway, so you can transition. Like I said, if the robo play because of roach play, because of um, nidus worms, you need to learn how to transition quicker. So that's where the gateway is important. You can't just go pylon forge. Hey, I'm gonna go cannon rush a zerg player and then follow it up with the gateway later. No, you gotta be efficient. Now, right here, I'm looking like a normal probe, just harassing, mineral harassing, and then quickly I just turn to a, a butthead and stole the gas. The gas, again, is to minimize the roach play or the nidus worm play because it's gonna happen. Let's see. Low ground pylons too early. No. Shouldn't be too early. It's before the seven squares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He has to be up right here. Right? So, let's slow it down. 
Yeah, it's the, like, they normally cancel it, like, right here. They don't cancel it, like, at the last, last second. Some do, but, like, my pylon is set up pretty good. My, my pylon wall right here, I destroyed it. The reason why I keep destroying it is because I don't see his drones coming and I can cannon rush inside or make the cannons from the inside so I don't lose all this right away. So you notice how right here, I'm like waiting. But uh, no, I, I think it's perfect to, um, t to, uh, to put the pylon right there at that timing. You have to do it at seven squares though. No more than seven squares. Yeah, seven squares. Science. So. Oh shit. Yeah. yeah, so. One, two, three. So the seventh one's right here. So this is where you have to, you can't make it before that. If you make it before that, then that means that your pylon is going to go up or your cannon is going to go up and you can cancel it and you're like, oh, I wasted resources. Oh, man. Oh yeah, I made a cutout. I made a cutout to uh, to fit the headphones. It's tailor made. <laughs> Got a flow dome cutout. That's a good opener that counters <laughs> everything custom here. Yeah, pretty much. All right, so this is a different kind of cannon rush. Uh, this cannon rush is when you deal with somebody that knows you cannon rush, you can do this play a lot. You put a pylon on the back, you just can't sacrifice your probe your probe has to stay alive now this is different though <clears throat> i didn't expect this uh a pylon and a gateway at the bottom so it's that's an easy fix though cannons going up there goes the probe all right so there goes the nexus right all we gotta do here is wall him. I already have a probe going on the other side. We wall that up and cannon it up. We're good. All the technology and all the resources is built into this side of the map. And if he can't get his gateways over to the other side, then he's screwed. So. My gateway right here. The gateway right here is pretty much to go over to his base with Zelots to harass him while the cannons are killing his technology. So the Cybernetic Core and his gateway is going to get cannon rushed. He's going to be attacked by by uh, by Zelots with the gateway. So it's a very um, annoying situation for him. But that's what happens. Like, you didn't expect that. Yeah, as long as you wall this out, they can't get in. You kill this off. You go back up with the gateway. G G. Nope. <laughs> Always. 
As long as we're learning, we're winning. Yeah, it definitely forces you <clears throat> to change the game. And you force them to play different. <clears throat> so it was the PvP, so I'm waiting for 300 resources. I like to kind of hide in the back. Or you see a probe. I see a probe going down. That's a scout. Here goes my resources, about 300. Uh, no gateway okay now let's do a four pylon wall at the gas something's missing so yeah no gateway Base is under attack. uh yeah so we're going to can rush but somebody's going pro brush so we have a cannon up so there's a cannon that'll take care of the mining, and I still have a pylon up, so I'll just keep making workers. I should be able to outworker him. I make another pylon so I don't get the pipe block, so I can keep making more workers, <clears throat> and eventually have a lot more workers. There goes the pile on up. I can make more workers. He's gonna let me mine a little bit. That's not good. Just does not want to leave. <laughs> That's almost like sleeping mode, right? I think like what would be sleeping mode? Like ninety percent. You start getting so you're like, oh, I'm getting done. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> I know, there's like a, a sub chat. Just put a number on the level of stone. <laughs> I know, I'll go, I'll get stoned right now. <laughs> you start seeing red orbs. Uh, oh man. I'm a detail oriented guy. Yeah, same here. It's all about the details. Details and the details. 
every day, every day. There we go. What are we doing? So this is a uh, PDP. I think he's cannon rushing. I'm not sure. So I made a pylon because he's going for a probe scout. Uh, and I'm like, okay, you're not cannon rushing. So see how we do this one. I'm like, okay. Sometimes I do that because I'm like, okay, is he going to not chase me anymore? What is he going to do? So I go, okay, well... We know where we're going to want to go. Mm, barely had that. Alright. Quick one cannon right there. Probe in that way. Pop out. There he goes. He can't get out. He's going to get popped outside. That probe is blocking. Dude, I wanna play now. <laughs> He's like, what the fuck? He's like, how did I... Are you serious? He's like, how did that work? How did you... How, how could I not get in there? Oh man, he was so upset. Is that fair? Oh man, that's you know, cannon rush 101. So, as you can see, like sometimes, all right, I come in as a probe, right? And I'm like, okay, right now I'm scouting everything out seeing what I want to do he's got okay he's got two gases already up and um, you know it's like it's one of those things where you're like you scout the map but you don't show where you want to go right like my eyes right now I'm like I want to go over here I want to I want to do the wall right here I'm looking at this opportunity there's an opportunity right here looking at the gateway timing and I'm just like I'm hoping that if the probe sees me leave, that the probe's just gonna not follow me anymore, right? That's what I'm hoping for. So I'm not showing my cards yet, but I'm hoping for that. I'm like, okay, well, I'm just gonna. And, uh, he's not leaving, you know? I was like, he's not. He's norm uh, normally they go back home. This guy's not going back home. So I'm like, okay, well, next trick is the attack trick. Every time they attack you, the probe gets distance. You see that distance? So that distance gave me time to make a pylon real quick. Now when you do this, you're going to get zapped again. And so guess what happens with a zap? You get distance. You're going to get zapped again? That's distance. And oh, he, he got derped. He didn't see the wall. He thought it was a wall. Must have. So you see how that worked? Every time he has zapped you because he's behind you and you pull away, you're getting that distance and that distance allows you to uh, get the pylons up. And so now you have an opportunity where you have this wall. The only left is this little area right here. The pylons go up. That Zelos coming out, right? You have one part of the piece. The probe does the rest, can't get in. And this is where he got me. He's like, I, he's really trying to go inside. He's like, I should be able to pop inside. Look, you see that? Let's see a little. He's like, I should be able to pop right to you. And he thinks that it should just appear here. <laughs> That's the way he thinks that the StarCraft physics is. That he's like, well, it's got to come out of right here. He doesn't know that there's an X right here. And the gateway is not going to respond because there's an X. And that's where he's like, what? what? <laughs> uh, see? He just, so he's like, his whole build kind of just is going to get vulnerable to this kind of play. Jeez. 
GG. <clears throat> the Protoss. What's Beaky's? What are those? Alright, pylon goes up. We look at the middle map. Middle map shows no probe yet, so there's no probe scouting. You can kind of see what a player they are when they don't send a probe out. Or when they probe scout, but it's like after it's like a gateway scout. I find the most efficient Protoss players in PvP are the ones that pylon scout, even if they're going for gateway. Oh. What are we doing here? Okay, you notice how there's no probes. There's no probes coming. That's kind of different, right? It's like, they're not coming out. You're used to, they're all like reacting and oh, we gotta charge and get in. Some of these probes, they don't, they don't do that. Oh, what are we doing? We got a, a cybernetic core, very common cybernetic core. So he's gonna have to get a gateway or something over here because <clears throat> that gateway is not gonna produce a stalker. I guarantee you. I'm gonna wall that off if he does light up. So again, we go over here, we click on it, it's a robo. Nope, it's a forge. We go over here to get another look, it's not a robo. So we're like, hmm, what could it be? Is it a cannon rush? So, since he has a forge, he could have a probe trying to cannon rush the top right of my base. Battery shield and cannon. So he wants to contain, he wants to control this area, so we're moving to the right. We're moving to the right side. Now we can get a cybernetic core now because we got a gateway right away. Our gateway is being utilized for zealots, so the zealots are being pumped out, utilizing distraction because we're trying to make sure that we're we're distracting the mineral line. The cannons don't always do that right away because you know it takes a while to get there. But the Zealot could, and that's why you want to make the, ga the gateway right after you make the cannon. You make a cannon gateway, or cannon cannon gateway. But the gateway is so that you can get those Zealots out, so you can create more uh, probe distractions and harass. <clears throat> Alright, so I already saw the Robo. I was like, okay, he's got a Robo. He's gonna want to like if he if he gets a medevac drop. I mean if he gets a prism, I won't be able to do much um, at my base. He might you know. So what I'm thinking of doing is going to a hidden base, make a pylon, get a stargate, and then from the stargate, I'll expand with the nexus and I can recall over there if I need be. But the void raider will be able to be safe. So if I make a stargate at my base, he can probably get there with the prism. Which there goes the prism. Um, worst case scenario right and then I would be getting a void raid his prism comes in immortal goes down takes out the pylon and doesn't let my void raid come out things like that right you don't want that to happen um, so you make it somewhere else you already have another plan it's like okay and you already think worst case scenarios the zealots here they're gonna be harassing the immortals because the immortals take forever to kill a zealot so that's what we're doing. The Zealots are pretty much my way of just stalling time because it's time that you need. All you need is a little bit of time and the, the Zealots are really good at that with the Immortal. There goes the attack. 
Our pylon is under attack. <laughs> he sent all his probes. I was like, okay, we're, well, at least I know where his probes are. I was after all. One out of Phoenix. Well, the Phoenixes don't shoot immortals. Void Rage is gonna take care of the problem. Picked out a lot of the games uh, beforehand, so we're just kind of just next, 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 next. Yeah, stream's good. We're learning. This is science school. Science school cannon rushing. All right, so pylons up. Uh, you don't normally see me scroll to the middle of the maps and stuff because I do that with my eyes. So right now with my eyes, I'm looking at the middle of the map and I'm not showing you here, but that's because my, and then right now my, 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 my eyes saw a blue dot. I went over there just to check right there. I was like, oh, what was that? Uh, and then I'm looking around to hide it. I want to hide my probe around the blue dot, but it spotted me. So, so sometimes I don't show what I'm looking at, but that's only because my eyes don't reveal it. <laughs> oh yeah. All right, so here you go. Right, what do you do here? We've been here before. Block that spot. The probes are getting in. Oh, Zella got kicked out. Okay, we can move our area out. Now there is that spot. He should move his probes out so the Zellons can hit that cannon. He's derping right now. Now he's trying to get in. He's like, oh shoot, now how, why do I want to do that when the probes are. Second probe goes up the ramp. Alright, there's a probe in the middle of the map. We just spotted a probe in the middle of the map. So, this would. Oh, second probe. It's a cannon rush. So, because I saw a middle probe and another probe coming out, I know it's gonna be a cannon rush. So, I'm going straight to the gas now. <clears throat> it's no longer gonna be a cannon rush for me, it's gonna be a gas steal. Steal one gas. Let's go mineral trick into the second gas all right now let's go steal the, the the expansion because the expansion is the other situation they want to get the expo if they don't get the gas so we're denying that too now all we got to do is make a cannon on the right if we make a cannon he needs to get the high ground vision if he can't keep the probes alive then he can't keep the vision so all you need is one cannon to just snipe the, the probes 
and you denied the expansion but you denied it but you also crippled his economy you crippled the fact that he can't take an expansion right away if he does it has to be a further out expansion and you denied his gas and now you can go to gas play uh, and the two gas play is going to be a very heavy uh, hard counter to his one base to one base because it's like a one base but you have gas we're chasing the um, He's chasing us, so we're keeping an eye on each other's probes. Yeah, the red dot in the minimap is like the the probe on the minimap. Or the blue dot. Base is under attack. Yeah, so this is how you can counter a cannon rush by going forge first. You don't have to go forge first to cannon rush. You can do that to counter the cannon rusher, but you still you still can get a gateway and follow it. This is actually a Korean playstyle. In Korea, when I faced them in cannon rushing, this is actually a normal thing where they make a pylon, a, a gateway. When they see a cannon rush, they pop a forge right there, wall it off. And then they go into their play. I here in the shadows. Base is under attack. Why not build a second cannon up top? You only need oh because the stalker, the stalker will take care of that. Yeah, the the stalkers are gonna be way better to be mobile to. Um, to do different, they can move out eventually. Um, so the stalkers will do the same job. You don't need to make more cannons. Um, you just needed one to just kill the probes and you switch over to, so that's the best the benefit of getting gas. You have gas, he doesn't have gas. You stole his gas. So because of that, you have superior army. You know, you can get stalkers, you can get sentries, you can get void raids, everything that counters. You can get disrupt disruptors counter the the zealots. You know, it's like because you already have countered them. So you were you were gonna cannon rush, but when you saw someone cannon rushing you, you let them do their cannon rush. You go into a different phase, which is uh, deal their take their gases, take the pylon to deny their expansion. And go for a macro build and by going for a macro build you just straight hard counter both situations the cannon rush that they force expense on and you get the gases so you're going into a heavy tech to counter this without having to lose army or without having to be too defensive All right, we're gonna look at a Zerg play. This is gonna be interesting. The Zerg. <laughs> Hold right there, cheese. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna make a. It ain't easy being cheesy. I still have that sound bite. All right, Zerg player, a minute and 54. So I look at the time. I look at when the hatchery comes up. 154, that's pretty early. That's hatchery first. If it's a minute and four seconds, that's pool first. Should be nobody there. But um, there are some times where you get it at 49 seconds and we're like, oh, you're really early. You're cutting drones. So you can tell by that. And I look at the hatchery, I look at the timer, and I kind of look at what exactly is going on. What am I seeing up there in drone count? Just by looking at when the hatchery comes up. So I steal the gas, like I said, to the, to minimize the road ravager rush whenever there is going to be either a Nidus rush or straight um, through the front. 
and then I wait right here now I do start putting a pylon up if the drones start coming out if the drones start attacking me I do put it a little earlier just in case because they're already sacrificing resources to counter it All right, middle trick, middle trick up there. Uh. What up, mad scientist? How's it going? <laughs> oh, there's more. Trust me, there's more. Base is under attack. He's like, I thought I can hold every build with hatch first. Nah, it doesn't just, uh, you're not granted. You're not granted a, a, a get, get a hatch free card. <laughs> he said, I would like to play this again. <clears throat> Lots of love. Good luck and have fun. You're gonna need it. Did you see Winter's YouTube video where his only loss was to someone? I saw, oh he put that on YouTube. Yeah, I seen that one. I seen that one. Someone sent me a a, a clip of the ending, and I'm like. Oh, I know him. Uh, he was actually a friend of mine. The person that played him, he's an old StarCraft 1 friend of mine um, that came back to StarCraft. Um, he found me. He was like, hey, what the hell? And it's like, he was, he's one of my viewers. Uh, but yeah, he's. Uh, I told him about it. I go, hey, because I saw him at another channel. I was like, hey, I, I heard you. I saw you played Winter. He thought I was messing with them, but then he checked the VODs and he told me, Hey, I thought you were messing with me, but I found the VOD and yeah, it was funny. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess I, I told him I, I was the one to tell him that he, it was on Winter's channel. Because Winter didn't use his name, and so he didn't know it was Winter. Okay. Okay, let's go back. It didn't follow everything. Good luck. Have fun. What up, and, mad uh, scientist? Beat him, probably. All right. So this one's uh, this one's gonna be a little different. Dream? No, I'm not going to dream hack Dennis. I wish I can go to all of them, but yeah. It cost. <clears throat> yeah, he, I, yeah, right. He was doing a low APM challenge. That is true. That does take a toll for sure. But it also was one of those games that happened to all of us where you're like, you almost have what you need and it was just like a couple seconds that really get you and you're like, ah, oh. it's one of those like, yep, I've been there. Those are the ones that hurt. <clears throat> all right, so... 
he took a gas and a pool. He wants to get a hatchery, and I'm denying the hatchery. The reason why I'm denying the hatchery is because I'm forcing him to an uncomfortable pool first. So this is a pool first. Um, and a pool first, you can actually cannon rush. So if you go up the ramp, if you go up and you make a pylon and you go up the ramp and you know it's a pool first, by the time you come back and you make cannons, <clears throat> you can actually cannon rush contain him, the Zerg player. So that's what's going on right here, which you can force out drones. You're going to force out drones for sure when you do this build. But uh, if you can wall up your cannon really tight, then they lose their mining droning time. And they also, they're, they're really hurting. The reason why they're hurting is because they're going pool first. If they're going pool first, they're supposed to do damage to you. If they can't even do the damage to you because... Well, you're not letting them go out there and do damage, then they lose the whole point of the pool first. Like, what? I'm gonna get lings to go deal with this. I'm gonna need a lot of lings, and if I use a lot more lings, I'm already losing time to get a hatchery. If I lose time for the hatchery and just produce all too all too many lings, those could have been drones that could have helped me for the hatchery. So it's uh, it's definitely like hurting your own self, but you have no choice, and that that's you know that's because a lot of players think that you can you can't cannon rush a Zerg player going pool first. You actually could do a cannon rush versus a pool first. You just have to quickly make the pylon right here at the hatchery spot. Because if you make a pylon right here, they're not going to think that you're cannon rushing. They think that you're just going to just block the hatchery. And because they're thinking that you're blocking the hatchery since you're moving back up the ramp, when you come back down, you can make your cannons right away. And they have to run all the way down to try to go break that through, which gives you time. Time to surround it. And then all of a sudden, once you surround it, they're stuck on a one uh, pool first. Um low economy intro with a very hard way to get an expansion they have a gas that's already stolen so they can't just go for another gas and try to hope for a one baser it's going to be a hard time to to uh, to get through on this one you know he's already maximized on this so he's got to get units so all this has to be links if not he's going to get gas you know, it's very, very tough times for the Zerg player when you do this really early because they don't expect this. They're like, who cannon rushes on a pool first? Oh, thanks. Thanks, Matt Scientist. All right, thanks, Matt Scientist. I do appreciate that offer. I just, I just haven't set up anything. I know that there is something that I'm supposed to go this year that um, Ash wants me to do, so I'm, re I'm relying on her to um, to give me ample time, and she thinks that it can happen. So. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. So, this is different. So, this is a uh, half Probius. This isn't all the Probius. This is only half. This is going to allow me to keep making more workers because we want to make a cannon rush. Notice how I'm making a forge right here. So, when I send my workers out, I do it right after I can afford uh, a cannon because that's what I'm going to try to do. Now in this situation, he's cannon rushing me. So luckily we have the same cannon rush. We have the same um, idea. We're cannon rushing each other. Yeah. 
Your probes are under attack. Now I'm attacking them. <laughs> I'm attacking them with my workers. Your probes are under attack. It's a battlefield over there. <laughs> so we recall back home. We were able to take out that cannon. can't afford much he's trying to lure some probes to the cannon we're making our gateway far away from any can any possible cannon location you have my curiosity but now you have my attention what up, inner homie? Thank you for the follow. Yeah, he's got no... Very little options. Alright, tiny little dragon. You have a good night. <clears throat> Alright, send <clears> throw <throat> in the great. <clears throat> to the box and or yeah you couldn't afford it two cannons beat one cannon and I have too much on the other side he's able to get about five was it five workers six out of the way but just not enough. Looks like you dropped. Oh shoot, we only got you and K CA. Yeah, uh, Pacific Standard Time. It is um, five nine five nine fifty two right now. Nine fifty two p.m. right now. So how are we gonna do this? This one, it looks like you can put a pylon right between the pylon and the gateway. <clears throat> I could do a four pylon. All right, we're gonna let the probe attack us and then we're gonna move to the left. There we go, got our distance. Nope, oh, popped out. We did a little blink. Pro blink.
Now we gotta keep the probe alive. We need to do a little, you know, probe survival techniques. Ooh, to that that mineral, and then pull pull away. I'll do the play by play right now in a second. Don't worry about that. I got you. Never. <laughs> Two cannons coming up. We're getting our Zella, the Zella to do the damage, the harass. So I see buildings. I normally look at the buildings and judge if he's going for an expansion or not. When you see that many buildings coming up, he doesn't have an expo. You only have an expo when you don't see very like the two gateways that you see in the beginning and that's about it maybe a robo or you know but when you see gateways more gateways there's no expansion like 99% of the time it's like very uncommon that the income is in both making a nexus and getting gateways at the same time of this at this early of the game you can't afford it Let's go back <clears throat> to where it all started. Alright. First things first. This probe right here. See the see the probe going over to the scout. Alright. Right when we go in there, right? We have a, a, a game plan. We go up the ramp, we start analyzing what's going on. We're, you know, Ocean's Eleven up in here. We're like, okay, we need to break into the vault. We got to figure out how to do it. Well, in this way, it's like you got to come in and go, okay, I figure out to figure out how to wall myself out and keep the pros out from, from, from my, from my base, you know, um, from his base. All right. So we're going to, we already know the area, right? We already scoped it out, but we're not going to go over there and stay there. We're going to act like we're scouting. We're like, Hey, nothing to see here. That, that right there was just a fake. Oh, Hey, I really wanted to steal your gas. You know, I had it positioned, you know, how sometimes you could rally position it to go. And so I kind of made it look like, Oh, I'm just trying to steal your gas. Um, I don't want to show him too much, right? You know, you got to act the part. You're like, you look at this without him, you know, you look, you look, but you don't, you don't look, you just look and go forward and don't look like you're looking. If you know what I mean, <laughs> you look, but you don't look peripherals to you use your peripherals. I'm looking at my peripherals right now. I don't want to show signs that I'm going to be like, Oh, what's going on over here? Maybe I want to do stuff over here. No, you want to look like, Oh, nothing. You know, I don't even worry about that. I don't even want none of this this right here I don't want none of it you know but I did want the gas right so I made it look like I wanted the gas so right here it could be a patrol right and okay that put that patrol shows that he was gonna take the gas it wasn't a patrol but I made it look like it, it could be a patrol to get get the gas now he sees that he can't take the gas because I took it already so he can't steal my gas now it just looks like pro that just wants to steal my gas wants to be that the guy that just does a two gas play with one gas deny you know so nothing too much right doesn't scream cannon rush and so right here now we're getting ready to go for this area now the best way to do it is we go over here and we make a left turn we do a quick left 
when we do a quick left this probe is going to attack us right here once that zap kicks in you're going to get range you see how close this probe is to this one you see that, that zap now we got distance way more distance than we had that's the distance that you need for a pylon you know that's a pylon distance Ooh, even more look at that that looks that don't look too close no more once you let them zap you and make a quick left you got time pylon now right here i noticed that there was a little gap still so i had to make one more pylon but that's a perfect perfect spot so to make another cannon right here now in this scenario you have pylons everywhere um, I don't want to cancel this one because this one's already this one's already done and, and not done yet and this is almost done so in these situations you're like what do I do you know how do I get onto the other side you want to get on the other side so this is where the cannon the cannon can push you out someone was asking earlier if a cannon can push you out yeah yeah I did it right here so the Protoss is like okay he can't get out he can't get in we're, we walled him in like as long as he's not inside our base we're good and here I go use the cannon to push me in another cannon right here now I look at this and I'm like okay there's um cybernetic score is barely coming up so when you look at the cybernetic score you're like okay there's not going to be no stalkers for a little while there's not even going to be a robo or stargate for a little while so right now i got a lot of a lot of time all right so right here he's coming at me i'm like okay there's another group coming at me they're they're both coming at me so where do i go you don't want to go straight because when you go straight from a mob they're all gonna center into towards you, and if you they center towards you, you're gonna you're gonna get the full brunt of their attack. And you can't go back because there's an evil zealot right here, right behind, ready to snipe you if, if you weaken if you get weakened by these probes. Because there's nothing over there other than like a loop, and the loop is dangerous because the zealot's right there. So the best thing is um, what we had to do here. Let's see here. we had to go here that mineral line we had to make a quick turn right here this mineral line allows me to just go through this little this little crevice right here just straight shot and from there we got to bounce out right that's the play bounce here bounce out use the mineral trick get out of there so you're gonna see it right now right oh he tried to snap me most of them all grouped up right here at the bottom we got two zaps in and then quickly once we got to this spot we moved out see our clicking and we were able to get out of there oh yeah gateway comes up we need our gateway remember we need our gateway our gateways for our tech as well as for Zella to create harassment now this right here I'm just scouting around just kinda like looking around seeing if there's anything just creating distraction if that pylon is getting attacked or not see I'm going over here because I want to know what's going on I need to find out I click on this I go okay robo play in stock and a gateway so robo gateway means that he's he doesn't have another base this is this is his base he wants to guard it right now and this is all he has right now and this is the timing so this is the timing he's on one base he can't afford this and take another base um, so now we know we're dealing with the immortal with the immortal we're just gonna continue getting the gateways and uh, with the zealots and that's what the zealots are gonna be for with the with the gateway
Yeah, the the zealots also push the probes out way quicker than the cannons because they're quicker. Okay, see how the zealots pushing the immortal back every time is that little time to kill the nexus because that's all we gotta really do we just need a little bit of time to kill that nexus and we're mission accomplished and they're out of here and that's what the zealots allow us to do so two things the zealots allow us to have more time to kill the nexus have more time to make cannons while stalkers are harassing um, they allow us to go back home and get a cybernetics core and switch over to a t different tech Immortal or Stargate, you know, you can switch it over because you already got the gateway um, So it's very useful very useful for multi things um, Instead of just going cannons 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 all the way through remember the gateway. It's a very Helpful key to the cannon rushing X is silent <laughs> Yeah, right? Yeah, the X is silent. I'm blue, okay. Primal, primal one. That's all good. Hey, it's not a bad one either. Trust me. I've read some, 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 oh, some interesting ones. You're not bad at all. You're good. Primal, primal one, primal sounds like badass, and the one reminds me of Jet Li in that one movie. That that one was a tight ass movie though. That was, I think it was called One or the One. I don't know. It's custom, so the hat's custom. I could start selling them, but I have to see. Oh, 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 he got me. So, that second probe. That's the rule, that's the thing about the, the second probe. The second probe needs to do the job better than the first probe. So, the lifeline, you really want to make sure you don't mess with the lifeline very much because it's not easy yeah I should start selling hats sewer merch I know be <laughs> it's like paper it's like hey wait this is this is this, this look like what he has it's like, it's like origami. It's like, it's like the budget is tough. You asked for the economy hat. You didn't get the deluxe. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. No, I do have um uh ideas of merch. I have ideas of, of merch that I wanna do for sure. I just need to find a place that has good materials. I tried one and the material sucked. I did make that hat. I made this. This is my crafted. It takes me about a day to do a hat. I could probably do it quicker if I'm not talking and stuff. I could probably do it like in maybe five hours. Not sick, that second pro, but that zealot though. So that zealot, there we go. Taking damage, you're going to the other side, harassing the left side. There goes another probe, right?
That third probe, though. That probe. What about that third probe? Genius. There goes the Zealot, harassing the Stalker, so the probe can make more cannons. Big brain, big net, Harry Stamper. We're going for the wall in. They're out of here. Oh, we were more planned planning to um just wall wall the you know what I mean trying to create a wall over this robotics we embrace the glory of battle He got stuck right there in the inside. So getting stuck right here, you're pretty much in my cannon zone. You can't run away. You're gonna get killed. So that's the whole purpose of walling this in. You wall this in, immortal comes into range of the cannon, and they're dead. We embrace the glory. And they're out of here! <laughs> oh, the yeah, my monotone voice. <laughs> so soft and smoky. <laughs> it sounds like a missed voice. <laughs> Definitely something you can fall asleep on. Oh yeah. What do I fall asleep on? Oh, Cannon Rush Diaries. Hmm. I don't know if I'll be able to play some tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll play some. I don't know if tonight I'll be able to. It's getting late. I'll check it out. I'll check out those links right now. Our pylon is under attack. Our pylon is under attack. <laughs> yeah, you... <laughs> you fall asleep too. Even I fall asleep to my own dream. James King is GG. I'm thinking about the map. Not supposed to say sorry. 